My name is Karima Benoun. I'm the United Nations Special Rapporteur in the field of cultural rights. I'm also a professor of international law and human rights at the University of California Davis School of Law. I think forgetting is also a kind of violence. Just to give you one concrete example, it's about to be the anniversary of an attack on the UN headquarters in Algiers by Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb. One of the victims of uh, that attack was my childhood next door neighbor, a very great man named Shedli Hamza. He worked as a consultant with UNDP and who had started a school as his sort of side project, his personal project. And when he was killed, uh, not only did that do terrible harm to his family, but also to all of the children in his school. He is not a statistic, he's a person, he's a victim of terrorism. Uh, and he deserves for us to remember him and all the other victims of that attack and all the others, unfortunately, that continue to happen. My name is uh, Ndugwa Hassan. I am a co-founder of the Uganda Muslim Youth Development Forum. On the night of uh, July 11th, 2010, I joined two, three of my colleagues uh, to the Chadondo Rugby Grounds in Kampala, Uganda. As we enjoyed the game towards the 78th minute, I had the loudest sound of my life. As I saw people starting to run for their life, another blast went off and that was targeted towards the exit as people rushed out. I realized this is now serious, this is a bomb blast. So I started running as well for my life. I'm Laura, Laura Dolci and I'm, I'm Italian. I work uh, in Geneva right now at the UN Office for Human Rights. On the 19th of August 2003, uh, I lost um, my husband, who was killed in the attack against the UN headquarters in Baghdad. On that day, I lost my partner, a dear colleague, and I lost the father of our baby child. I lost a piece of me on that day. Terrorism, as, as, a, as a fundamental component and raison d'etre, has um, the intent to create fear. It is possible to react to this by standing up, upholding the values of rule of law, of coexistence, of, of human being solidarity. Um, and in there, I think states and the United Nations and the communities have a role to play. If you address the issue of victims and resilience of victims, families and communities, you are in a sense voiding the, the, the message of fear. Victims of tourism voices are very important. These are people who provide uh, a human face to terrorism. And if they're given a platform to share these voices, to amplify these voices, I think it's uh, one way of providing that counter narrative against uh, violent extremism. Uh, but also trying to delegitimize extremist ideology.